Well, I think if you care about the long-term health of uh, a company or the industry, both, you, you have to be a disruptor uh, because um, too many times in our uh, industry's uh, history and even in our company's history, uh, we've stopped innovating and stopped progressing. And it's then when we get into trouble. And so when I joined the company, it became very clear to me early on that, uh, that our approach on the environment just wasn't going to work and that we needed to drive massive change if we were going to continue to attract the best and the brightest young people to want to work there. I didn't ever want us to be like the tobacco industry where our employees would have to apologize to their family and friends because they worked there. I knew if that happened, we'd be finished. So, uh, plus I had a deep environmental ethic myself um, and I just couldn't reconcile how I, what I believed and where I saw our company and our industry headed. Um, and then in more recent years, uh, it became clear to me that uh, this whole notion of congestion and uh, selling ever more vehicles into a more crowded world just wasn't gonna make any sense. Um, so if you just look short term, you don't have to worry about those things. You just sell as many as you can and let the chips fall. But as I say, if you're worried about the long term, as I've always been, then it really requires you to not only embrace change, but frankly, go seek it.